What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I just got done watching Axel F. I thought it was called Axel Foley. It's actually called Axel F. I think I did two trailer reactions on this on my channel. I didn't watch it when it first came out, but I've just got done watching it. And um, my initial thoughts, I didn't really enjoy it. I don't think Eddie Murphy was doing a lot like it was he wasn't doing as he he wasn't being the way he would have been in like part one two and three especially part two and three which was my favorite i think three was my favorite of course upon re-watching three two is actually better than three but i think three for me was when i was introduced to beverly hills cup so it has like a special place in my heart in terms of like how much i enjoyed it and you know the rewatchability and everything but i know in terms of the movie itself and critics and stuff like that it's not the most liked i think one and two are like best anyway guys this is going to be a spoiler review so if you haven't watched axel f by now it's on netflix go over there and give it a watch i believe it came out in when did it come out june was it june may or june something like that so they kind of follow the same old tropes he had to come back into beverly hills and he has to come and help his friend and then in the middle of that you've got the drama between him and his daughter which was really my main bone of contention you know like the daughter story and guys you know i said it in my trailer review uh, or my trailer reaction which is that i didn't want them to do another deadbeat dad or he's done so much and he's a hero but then he you know down the line he's lost the wife and the kids hate him this is exactly what they did it's the exact same thing he lost his wife and he's got an estranged daughter who doesn't talk to him or whatever but of course when she's in trouble she knows who to call right <laughs> that's just like, that's the thing i really hate those tropes i really really do the movie is not some elaborate scheme you know who the villain is you know who the good guy is and of course he you get the nostalgia stuff where you get the old cast these two friends back they're very old but they, they still got the charisma but Eddie Murphy, he wasn't really like, it wasn't the same, basically. That's my own take. I really didn't enjoy the relationship between him and his daughter. It's just one of those things that they do in movies that I don't like. But I enjoyed the carnage. You know, he was the usual Axel Foley who no jurisdiction will hold him. He just goes for it. I think they also brought back Serge. <laughs> Serge is my favorite character in two and three. I, I mean, it's, it is forgettable. It really is. It's forgettable. It's it's not it's not gonna be like in the top two or three of the Beverly Hills Cup. It's gonna be the last. It'll be the last. Even no matter how much people didn't really like three, I don't think this one would top three. Three is the one with the amusement park guys. And then I think two is the one where he's um is it lieutenant or sergeant? Like somebody he looks up to dies in the field and tells him go and get that SOB and he goes to Beverly Hills and tracks him down and kicks his butt. So two is really, really good. It had more heart to it. Three, he was just having, he just looked like he was having fun. You know how they just throw him into different situations in Wonderworld and he just harasses the, <laughs> he harasses the bad guy and the bad guy is trying his best not to get flustered. That's, that's the reason why I like three. But yeah, guys, Axel F, it's free to watch on Netflix. If you've got Netflix, give it a watch. It's literally the same taste as the Coming to America 2. They tried to give you the nostalgia stuff, but it just didn't work, basically. And of course, if you are if you like that kind of stuff, you might enjoy it. But we enjoyed Beverly Hills Cup 1, 2, and 3 for a reason. They tried to do it, and it just didn't, it just didn't happen. And they did that whole beat the hero down stick that they do between him and his daughter where she you know she kind of hammers him down because it's everything is his fault regardless guys would i watch it again no not really i would definitely watch three again and i'll definitely watch two again i'm planning to watch them again just to kind of remind refresh myself and i'm definitely planning to watch one so all the three that came before it, i'm definitely going to watch again this one not really i i don't see any reason to but yeah guys let me know what you guys think in the comments below did you enjoy axel f did you you know enjoy the member berries did you enjoy the return of eddie murphy do you think he was as funny as he was in the old ones of course the old ones he was in his prime do you think that it's just one of those movies that you know they just made for money 
and, and it, it just is what it is. Or you think that, oh, they're just trying, but they're just missing and they don't know what they're doing. Regardless, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. Guys, I have a relationship channel. Please remember to go over there and check out my videos. I do relationship advice for our young people of today to kind of help them get out of that trap around the red pill versus feminism, manosphere stuff, and kind of help them to kind of just date as normal and avoiding all these extra stuff. Please check out my videos over there. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And if you enjoyed my review of Axel F, please leave a like, comment, and sub. I'll see you guys on my next review.